What's up, everybody? This is Master EN Gamer, and welcome to the 2020 Overwatch Halloween Terror Event. In this video, I'm going to be running through all the brand new cosmetic items we got, of which we can see many of already here on the splash screen. But let's go ahead and jump right on in. Free Halloween loot box. <laughs> and yes, the Genji and Hanzo skin. There was a leak about an hour ago before the event started, which did show off everything, so I have already seen everything. But that doesn't mean we don't want to take a closer look. So let's start with the epic skins. First up, Stone Brigitta. This is an interesting skin idea. Um, kind of simple, because it's just like, oh, her, but a statue with veins. I think it's a cool idea, though. And I think it looks good enough. Kind of see it as being one of the more forgettable skins, but... That's just my opinion. Maybe you really like it. Next up, Ragdoll. This one takes the cake in terms of the epic skins, in my opinion. Uh, that is creepy. That is incredibly creepy. It is just called Ragdoll. I saw some people saying it's supposed to be like a voodoo doll. And maybe it is, but I, I don't think so if they're just calling it Ragdoll, unless they just didn't want to say voodoo in the name. That is very. That is a very creepy skin. Uh, imagine waking up and that levitating at the end of your bed. <laughs> Have fun sleeping. And Phantasma. You know, I actually really like the colors with this one. This one looks pretty nice. I'm not entirely sure what it's going for. I'm not sure what Phantasma means. I'm sure you all are going to let me know in the comments. I saw some people saying, oh, it's like a virus skin, which maybe that's what they're going for, especially with like that exclamation mark. I think this is actually a pretty solid epic skin now that I'm looking at it closer. Yeah, I really like that pattern and just the colors of it. I think it works. All right, next up, Shinryong, which I'm probably not pronouncing correctly, Diva. Would you look at that? Uh, actually, let me go turn off the golden weapons real quick. Alright, so golden weapons are turned off, and there we go. Hmm. I gotta say, the design of it is very impressive. <laughs> oh, I like that gun. It's kind of shaped like a fox, that's sort of funny. Uh, obviously the skin appeals to a very specific demographic, should we say? And I think those people are going to be very satisfied with this skin. I like it. I think it looks nice. And I also love what they did with the mech, making it like a like a shrine or something. You have like the little charms or prayers, whatever you'd call them, hanging from the guns. It's nice. Alright, Karasu Tengu Genji. This one is interesting. So it's like a sort of crow design, which, you know, Tengu, of course. Ooh, I like that shuriken design. That looks pretty cool. And the sword is cool, too. Yeah, I don't really play Genji, so I'm, I'm a bit indifferent on this one. I think it's sort of a neat design, but I'm actually really curious to see what other people end up saying about whether or not they like this skin. Dai Tengu, which is, <laughs> yeah, the like red Tengu demon sort of thing, with the big nose, of course. Hmm, yeah, I'm kind of at a loss for words for these two Tengu skins, because I think they look nice, but I don't know, I guess they're just not that interesting to me. I'm sure you guys will love them, though. Flying Dutchman, here we go. Now this is a skin I like. Look at that. The sea urchin <laughs> hyperspheres, that is clever. I love that. And he's got like a globe on his back and then ship parts. This skin is just so fitting for Sigma. Like. Love or hate the design of a ghost pirate, this just fits Sigma so unbelievably well. <laughs> this is this is a good one. I'm probably going to use this skin quite a bit. Might not be my favorite Sigma skin, but I like it a lot. 
and Werewolf. <laughs> I like his, his jetpack. They're like evil trees. <laughs> yeah, Werewolf Winston. Basically a long time coming. It's kind of inevitable he'd get a skin like this eventually. And I think they did a pretty good job with it. The ears are a bit big, but almost look like bad ears. But I guess that kind of fits the werewolf design. Ooh, it's like a lantern. I like that. I like that one as well. All right, let's move on to the other cosmetic items. The emote, zombie walk. So this is like the Bastion zombie one, except for Reinhardt. I like that. This will make a fine alternative to charging headlong into the enemy team. Victory poses. Pumpkin. <laughs> the branded pumpkin. Pumpkin again. And pumpkin again. Voice lines. Listen to your mummy. Is that a costume? Or I say the is that a costume? Or are you just ugly? Oof. <laughs> they say the outlaw's ghost still stalks those cursed plains. You scare? Behind you! Ah! <laughs> just kidding. Long ago in a haunted castle upon a hill. Are you listening? Do you believe in ghosts? Spirits live within me. I am the soul in the shadows. The Shimada Empire will rise again. Ah, there's no such thing as ghosts. Uh, Except ah, there's no such thing as ghosts. Uh, I hope. Exterminate. Exterminate. <laughs> nice little reference with that one. What, are you scared? The Viking sought a dragon, but a dragon found him first. The Countess was feared by all, rightfully. And the sprays. We got Stone, uh, Shinryong, Ragdoll, Trick or Treat, <laughs> that's nice, Karasu Tengu, Dai Tengu, Flying Dutchman, Phantasma, okay, so yeah, it's like a tablet, so it definitely is some sort of like virus thing, Werewolf, and then Halloween Elite, Vengeful Ghost, <laughs> gotta look out for those vengeful ghosts. Frenzied Stampede, Quick Draw, Red Riding Hunt, Uncanny Speed, Viking Fury, and Zombarded. <laughs> I like that one. And Highlight Intros. That's a cool one. It's sort of weird how like the rocket slides back out at the end. Like I don't know, that just sort of looks weird to me. Huh. An itsy bitsy spider. Very creepy. And that does it for the cosmetics, except, of course, for the player icons. You can never forget the player icons. Let's see. So Halloween Terror, default one. And then we got the Genji Tengu, Werewolf, Flying Dutchman, Hanzo Tengu, Ragdoll, Stone, Phantasma, Shinryong, <laughs> and Clowny Mar or Clown Mari. Wonderful. Maybe that, that one might be the creepiest out of everything added with this event. <laughs> all right, there you all go. These are all the brand new cosmetic items for this year's Halloween Terror event. 
There is also new stuff added to the Junkenstein's Revenge game mode. So I'll definitely be checking that out. Maybe I'll be making a video covering the new game mode features. Maybe not. I'll see basically just how extensive they are. But the skins, I think, look fantastic this year. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you a fan of this year's cosmetics? Or maybe they're not ones that you're particularly interested in. Either way, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And as always, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at MasterEnGamer. Hit up that bell icon to never miss any future Overwatch content. Special thanks to my YouTube channel members who help make these videos possible. And if you'd like to join them to earn some cool rewards, then just hit that join button down below. Otherwise, this is MasterEnGamer signing off. And until next time, have a great day.